Hello, boys and girls. Welcome once again to Storytime with Noni. We're going to continue talking about Amy Carmichael. Remember how I told you that God has plans for you? He knows what they are, even though we don't. So, Amy began learning more and more about God. But more than that, she learned to know God. One day when Amy was at church singing a song about Jesus' love for her and how he would open the gates wide so that she could walk into his kingdom, she realized that she wanted to ask Jesus to come into her heart. And so that's exactly what she did. She closed her eyes and she prayed, Dear Jesus, I know about you, but I don't really know you very well. I want you to come into my heart. Please forgive me for all my sins. I know you died on the cross to take them away, and I know you're alive, and I want you to live in me so you can live through me. And that is just what Jesus did. He made his home in her heart, and his Holy Spirit came and lived in her to help her be able to grow the way God wanted her to. Well, as Amy was growing up, God kept teaching her more and more lessons. He helped her heart to be what his heart was. One day, when Amy was walking home with her family from church on a Sunday, They got ready to cross a street, and they saw this old lady, all dressed in rags, obviously very poor, and she was carrying a very heavy bundle. She could hardly hold it up. Well, Amy wondered why nobody else was going to help this woman. And then she realized she could do it. So she ran over to the lady, picked up her heavy bundle for her and began to help her carry it across the road. Amy suddenly became aware that there were other people all around her laughing at her. Why would they laugh when she was helping someone? And She realized most people wouldn't have wanted to touch this poor old woman because she was dirty. She didn't smell very good. But she knew in her heart that if Jesus were there, he would help this old lady. And that is exactly what she was doing. She was letting Jesus help her do what he would have done if he were there. Another time, Amy heard about these young women who worked in a factory, and they were called shawlies. They were very very poor. They were so poor, in fact, that sometimes they would do very bad things just in order to make some money. Well, Amy decided she needed to tell them about Jesus and his love for her. So she left her comfortable home and her family And she rented a small apartment in that area of town where these very poor, dirty people lived. And she began to meet these ladies. Well, one day when she was um, coming home from a meeting with some of these ladies where she was telling them about Jesus, she became aware that there were a group of boys following her, big boys, boys who wanted to hurt her. She was a little bit afraid, but she thought, I'm doing what God wants me to do, so I know he's going to protect me. But she started walking faster and faster, and they were walking faster and faster. Then out of nowhere, an arm came out of a door that she was passing by and pulled her inside. Quickly, this other lady pulled a sheet down in front of the door. They were so poor, they didn't even have a a good solid door. And the boys stopped outside of that. 
doorway where the sheet was hanging down. And Amy thought, there's only a sheet between danger and me. But she knew in her heart that God could protect her, and she believed he would. And pretty soon, those boys turned around and ran away. I don't know why they did that other than maybe there were angels that were protecting Amy. Maybe they saw the angels. We don't know. But God protected her, and that taught her a very important lesson. And it's one we need to remember, too. God didn't create us with a spirit of fear. He gave us a spirit of love and power and a sound mind to be able to think what to do when we are in danger. And Amy learned that even though she couldn't see God's help, he was there helping her. Those were all lessons that Amy was going to need to learn and practice so that she would be able to do the job that God was getting ready to give her. So boys and girls, join me next time on Storytime with Noni where we'll find out why God gave Amy brown eyes instead of blue. I love you. And God loves you so much more. Bye-bye.